I never realised limpets could be so interesting. Um, but these limpets are from a small island called Oronsay. And people used to live there about 6,000 years ago and gathered these limpets to eat. So we know the people in Oronsay used to eat limpets because these shells are found in huge middens, which are very large rubbish heaps in which there are thousands and thousands of shells. And we think that these people used to rely on protein from these limpets. We're very interested to find out more about these populations. And one thing that we don't know is whether they lived on Oronsé all year round or if they only lived there in one season, for example. So what we can do is we can look at the chemistry of the shell because the chemistry of the shell changes during the year as the temperature of the seawater varies. And by looking at the changes in chemistry, we can determine when in the year they were gathered. So if they were gathered in winter and summer, then we know people were there in winter and summer. So all these limpets were collected by Sir Paul Mellars um, in the field in Oronsé at different locations. And they were brought back to Cambridge for us to sample. So what we look at is the outermost edge of the shell, because this is the last part of the shell that grows before it is collected. So it's kind of like tree rings when a tree is cut, by looking at the outermost circle in the tree ring, we can determine when it was cut. It's the same thing with limpets. Um, what we did was we cut them in half, put half of them in resin, and then sampled the outermost edge um, of the shells in the resin to then measure the chemistry of that edge. And from that chemistry, we can measure the temperature. So the big question about this is whether these people lived on Oronsay all year round, or whether they only live there for one season at a time. And it's incredible that these very small shells actually hold the answer to this question.